Listen, everyone, it's Andrew here back with another adventure in episode in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. I'm just looking over here at one of my latest acquisitions here, just checking over some of the paperwork that uh, comes along with it. Um, this is the Olsen GTR. It's not the AMC upgraded edition. It's just a standard edition. Uh, it doesn't even have the supercharged motor for it. However, I am looking for another specific car. I can't say what it is yet, but I want to do a comparison between the two of them. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Anyway, we are not going to be doing this one today. This will be in a future episode, right here, once I find the comparison twin for it. Uh, however, what we are going to be working on is going to be inside the shop here. Uh, yeah, no, not this one yet. You know, it's a supercharged El Camino, but no, not yet. Uh, what we are going to be working on today is going to be this one right here. Now, this is the... 1970 Bolt Reptilia. It's the DR, drag race version. It's got 129,000 miles, you know, weighs about 3,300 pounds. But, uh, yeah, this is what we're going to be working on today. Uh, I got this one at the auction, as you all can see, down there in a car origin. Uh, paid, got it for a good price, too, because, well, it's missing something. As what we call a blank canvas. So, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put it back to drag race status. We're going to put slicks in the rear. Skinny's up front. Oh yeah. She's going to look good when we're done with it. So, without further ado, let's put this up on the lift. Uh, I've already got the wheels and tires. i got the front shocks together on it, I think. Oh, there's one still on there, so I'll have to get that. Um, actually, I think there's still one more to put together. But uh, it's got disc brakes all the way around. We're going to put... Uh, carbon fiber brakes on it um, it's got instead of the leaf spring it's got the coil spring rear end so as I said we're gonna start stripping her down getting her all ready to be all cleaned up I uh, got the block and the crank together on the engine stand uh, that's as far as I've gotten with that uh, all the parts have been painted so it's not gonna be just bare metal like usual um, it's gonna look good when we're done in my opinion let me know in the comments. Tell me what y'all think at the end. You know, what it looks like. Does it look good? Does it look bad? Would you own, Would you ever own one like this in real life? You know what I mean? Let me know. Also, too, if you really if you really want to, drop a comment. Tell me what your favorite vehicle is. That's what we can do. See, mine is more or less any muscle car. Uh, the 62 split window vet. Um, yeah, pretty much about my list, and then, you know, I don't really, I'm not really in with the modern stuff, although the GTOs of the modern style look not bad, uh, there's a company that's remaking, uh, or not remaking, but upgrading the old, uh, Trans Ams and stuff, they look pretty sharp, creating new bodies and stuff on them. Um, yeah, they look pretty sharp. Ah, I see we still got a sway bar anyway, can It's right here. That's where it is. I take out the inner tire rod. Lower control arm. After we bust the ball joint free. And spray these bolts off. Perfect. Bye-bye, steering knuckle C. You bigger bushing. These are going to disappear. Just like that. And we've got another one way back over yonder, right here. Mm -hmm. We're going to zoom up over here. We're going to take that off. We're going to take this piece off. Uh, we don't need this anymore. We're going to put a new one on. All oh, those cars mean new everything. And if we have enough time, which I'm pretty sure we should, I'm going to get it dynoed, aligned, and brought to the strip. And we're going to see what we can do with it. See if we make any good numbers. See if we win, lose, draw. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. We'll figure it out. Alright, last bolt for this. I'll take the steering rack off. Cross member. D. 
Alright, let's take out the dust cap. The wheel burn. Caliber. Brake pad, man. Rotor. Wheel hub. Ooh, that was smooth coming off. Uh, dust put or backing plate and uh, steering knuckle C. All right, I think we're pretty much stripped. By the looks of it, that's beautiful. And I'm gonna drop this back down while it's coming down. We're gonna go get the uh, handy dandy welder. And with that over car lift B. That's where the vet is. And we're going to pop this off. Walk around. Pop the door off. I got all new panels to put on here, so I'm not gonna worry about repairing them. Uh, let's put on, take off this tail light. Uh, I think everything else is stripped down now. Oh, we're gonna leave the seat in there for a minute in the steering wheel because we still gotta buy one anyway. So, all right, time to use the welder. For one thousand two hundred fifty dollars, that's fix the body. And while that's doing that, you know the routine. We're gonna go in the back here. We're going to build the motor. Oh, there's a nice color right there, huh? That's almost like a baby blue. All right, well, I guess we didn't. I guess we already did one. All right. Put the pistol, pistol rings in. And then once we're done with that, we can put the rod caps on. Yeah, buddy. That's right. So how's everyone doing today? Is everyone having a good morning, night, evening, afternoon? Where are we located around the big globe? Hope everyone's having a good day. Alright, rod cap time. There we go. After this, six more. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This last one, and then the old pan go on, man. Just like that. Ooh. That's snazzy. I was gonna go blue and white, but I was like, eh. I'm not really. I mean, it would probably look good with this, but I already started doing everything, so the silver. So I was like, yeah, we'll just continue on. Beautiful. Let's put the calm shaft in. The bump stick. Mission call bay. I'm going to put the strip marator in. The rotor. Cap. Clip B1. Clip B2. Timing or cam gear on. I put timing chain OHV on. Beautiful. Timing cover OHV V8. Beautiful. Uh, let's put the quank pulley on. Water pump. Just like that. Uh, let's put the belt B. Serpentine. Serpentine. However, the person pronounces it. I guess you can kind of guess what motor we're putting in it, huh? Right there. Alright, now we're going to flip this around. We're going to put the cylinder heads on. We're going to put all the valve train in the cylinder heads. And we'll put the intake on. The Uber Charger intake. Alright, now it's push rods for the wind. After that's going to be the walkers. Perfect. Now we're going to be running a 
a decently wide tire on the back of the vet. It's not going to be stupidly wide, but you know, it's going to be good enough to give us a little bit of traction. Perfect. Alright, last rocker for this side. I'm going to put the valve cover on. Rock, or the engine head cover. Perfect. I'm going to put the plugs in. we got four of them per side. Total of eight. I'm going to put the exhaust manifold, the long tube header. I'm going to put that on now. Perfect. Put the other cylinder head on and drive us out. Just like that. And now what we're going to do, we're going to put the Ubercharger lower intake on. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> this thing's the same blue. I'm going to put the, the air pump on. Right there. The Ubercharger. Now we can put the belt on. The other belt. Now the fan. And that's set it and forget it time now, you know what I mean? Alright, we're going to leave the carburetors off until we get it on the car, or back in the car. Um, because what I want to do is put all the suspension on it, uh, put everything under the hood on it, and then uh, bring it over, get it aligned. The headlights adjusted, and then uh, I'll put it in the car, put the motor in the car, I'll bring it over to the dyno, get a running gear, adjust the rear gear in it. Probably gonna run a 390, maybe a 410, it's hard to say, depending on how much power it makes. And uh, we're gonna hit the strip. I'm going to go cruise the strip, man. Alright, engine head cover bay. Drive us out. I'm going to put the long tubes on. Alright, perfect. Makes me wonder how there's more bolts to put a header on than there is to put the head on a Hemi. Boggles my mind. All right, plug wire time, beautiful. Put the carburetor one. I thought, let's do it. Let's get the motor complete. Carburetor two. Scoop air filter A, and or I guess it doesn't really matter. One and two. Now the hat, perfect. Now it's fully dressed. Beautiful. It's looking good. Alright, we don't need that anymore. We're going to put the car up in the air. I'm going to start installing everything. Start with the fuel tank. The rear axle in. Okay, and have nice blue. I think it's a nice blue. Put the shock in. Put the spring on. Spring rear shock absorber cap. I didn't say spring cap, but no. that's what this piece is right here. And over here, let's put the Rear muffler V8 OHV on. We'll do the other side too, since it's here looking important. Beautiful. And we're going to put the middle mufflers on. And we're going to wait until we get the motor in before we put the front two on. I'm going to put the drive axle in. 
beautiful. I don't know why I'm jumping the gun here. I'm still going to put the part on that actually mounts it. All right, leaf spring plate. U-bolt. The other U-bolt. The bigger bushing. All right, now we're gonna put the brake disc on. The rotor. Brake pad. Caliput. So I thought about it for a minute, you know? Should we go red, white, and blue? Eh. Yeah, that's what my original intentions were, but I was like, you know what, we'll save that for another project. All right, let's drop down, let's take a peek. See. Ooh, look at that fitment. Look at that fitment. That's almost perfect. That's good right there, man. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. I can dig it. How about y'all? I did kind of cheat first. I did kind of make sure that these parts were going to fit before... You know, the wheels were going to fit before I bought some. It takes me a couple sets sometimes, but because I already had these, or another set already together for a different vehicle, I was able to just match it up with those, see, okay, well, this size matches here, this size matches there, and, well, we came up with something. And by golly, has it ever looked good? Good fitment. I'm curious to know about the front, though. The front ones on the other wheels and tires I had on it in the beginning, they kind of stuck out just a hair past the fender. So I was like, eh, do I really want to do it? Or no? But I think she can be good. And you can see where the inside of the wheel tub is right here. I mean, inside of the wheelhouse. Looking good. Got lots of space. Alright, let's pop that over there. We're gonna come over here. By here. Put the cross member in. That's right. Would you just look at that? That's pretty. Now we're gonna put the little the bigger bushing. I was gonna say little bushing, but that's wrong style on this car. Put the other bigger bushing in. So that El Camino over there. What should we do with it? I mean, I know we're going to be putting a supercharged motor back in it. But what colors? What wheels? You know what I mean? Throw out some comments, some options. And I normally always try to do, if I get at least one person to tell me what I should do, I normally try to emit, match whatever they say. Normally. Unless it's a color that I just can't stand and I'll try to improvise it a bit. Or I'll embrace that color, but I'll go a different route with it, you know what I mean? Alright, lower control on now. Beautiful. Let's put the spring in. Just like that. Woo wee. She's a good looking piece, man. And this is actually going to be the color of the car. However, it's going to be a tad bit different shade, we'll say. I mean, it really dulled down on this. I don't know why, but it did. All right. Rota. Pad. Caliper. Now the wheel. Oop, I don't think it's sticking out. We're going to have to wait and see here. All right. We're at this point now. I'm hoping that the car has just a slight rake to it. You know what I mean? I don't like it where it's level. 
I don't know, I like the stance where the lower it's lower in the front, taller in the rear. That's why I like about my 91 so much, is because it's an F44 chassis coated truck, which makes it a heavy half. And it has heavy duty leaf springs in the rear, which lifts the back end of the truck up. And man, it looked good. Yeah, a lot of guys, oh, I got a, I got a heavy half for a Chevy. And it's like, um, do you have the F44 version code in your RPO codes for your chassis code? If you do not have an F44 chassis code, it is not a heavy half. As much as you like to think it is, it's not. I found that one out the hard way. My dad had one. He had an 88. And when he bought the truck, the person told him it was a heavy half. Well, this is the first time having these trucks around in the family. So, you know, none of us were the wiser of it until I got mine. And then I realized very quickly... Yeah, and I'm not sure if that looks right. I mean, it ain't cutting into anything, so that's good. Like she sticks out, well, not really. But, uh, yeah, so once I got my truck and matched out the RPO codes, and I was like, hey, uh, Dad, you were, de you were deceived, man. And he was like, no, I wasn't. I said, yeah, look, there's no F44 in the glove box. He goes, man. Bunch of con artists. I said, well, it is what it is, man. You can't really trust anybody these days. And this was back, shoot, 25 years ago. I'm guessing. Because I've had mine now for 10. And he had his at least a good 10 years before I got mine. So, yeah. It's been a minute. All right, I never bought none of these things yet. Let's sort of figure out, wait until you all over here, and we get them all together. Now, I know I said we're making a drag car, but I can't fathom, oh wait, right here. But I can't fathom to see seats sticking up way above, you know what I mean? It just, it just don't make sense to me. So that's why we're gonna go like this, like this. I'm gonna put these ones in. I'm gonna put these ones right here in. And we're gonna put the steering wheel in. Perfect. I'm gonna back out of here. See, it hangs down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Look at that nice clean book, though. Ooh, that's nice. Alright, now we're gonna start putting some parts on it. Oh, really? Stop burn, stop burn, stop burn. Huh. I guess I wasn't able to really reuse the parts anyway. Yeah. Okay. I know this car's supposed to have a rear bumper. A chrome bumper. Alright, now we're going to run around to the front here. We're going to throw a hood on it. You have a fender. The windshield. The headlights, which is, boom. Front bumpers. Bumperettes. No, bumpers. All right, now we're going to do this side. I mean, would you just look at that? You just look at it. It actually looks pretty decent. Let's see what I mean on how the front end's just a hair lower. It's good enough for me. All right. There it is, right there. See what I mean? It's just a bit shade different. That'd be that. Ooh. Now I want to do the, now I want to do the body white. What have we got here? Gray, black, white. Hey, look, it's smiling. Yeah, you know what, we're going to do with the white stripes. Maybe the next one we'll do, we'll put the American American flag colors on it. Yeah, see, my plan of attack is, is to get this car completely assembled, for the most part. 
and once it's assembled and it's already been all aligned and the headlights are done and all that fun stuff then what we can do is just drop the motor and bring it straight over the dyno and then quickly go to the racetrack to see how well our hard work paid off do we win or do we lose I don't know. Depending if I red light it or not. Not very often am I out run. I normally beat myself on the light. And I had made a post about uh, what, what did you guys want want to see today. And it's a 50-50 draw between this and Grand Theft Auto. So, we're still going to do the GTA later, just not right now. Um, yeah. Alright, that's all done. I just got to put the fluid in it when, it when it's about time to put the motor in. We're good. Even though this hood opens up wrong, it should open up the other way. As a proper vet should, but I guess copyright reasons maybe. Alright. Whew. The line is way out on this thing. I guess Joy's not really having parts on it when you buy it from the auction, huh? Oh, where are we going with that? It's already aligned? Hmm. Okay. Come on now. There we go. Alright, let's bring this back over Carlos Bay. I'm just going to stand back here and absorb it in. Don't get me wrong, man. That looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. Beautiful. I'm going to pop this. Bring the cherry picker over. And let's go get that big, beautiful honking motor back here. Oh, yeah. Flip this around for the next motor. Make the laser to start on. Out of the cabinet. Kind of hurt a little bit. Hurt the shoulder. Alright, now we're going to do this. You all ready? Oh yeah. She got some zing, man. She zinged instead of zang. Alright, glue goes in. Put some oil in it. There we go. Just like that. Let it spew over. There we go. Wipe it up. There we go. Put some power steering fluid in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 25 is a magic number. Perfect. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23
this. I've got a few drive shafts here, I'd say. And if I had to guess, I'd say we're done. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I already know, without even looking. I already knew. Better. Alright. Body's at 87%. Why is it so low? Really, just from license plates? Huh. Okay. Alright, let's bring this over to the Dino. Right there. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, she good. Do we have any plates? I guess we do. Perfect. Hunt the scene. No, you all are going to see how cheap I actually got this car for. I only paid $2,379 for it. Uh, we put roughly about 40000 give or take. Um, maybe around thirty-five, actually, because we were at uh, right around three twenty ish A little under, a little over. So roughly around the 35000 mark we put into it. So for a grand total, we're into this car for less than 40000 And the sell value on it right now is ninety-seven, which actually gives us, nets us a profit of over $50,000 for this car. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yes, I've had better profits, but that in itself is not bad at all. All right, we're going to bump this up here. Bump you up to 390. Uh, going to bring this down just a bit. Let's go 130. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's adjust these carbon marinas. Okay. Hey, how do I get that 1.3? Or 3 point? Somebody's messing around with it. Oh, I got it. Nice. Uh, like so. Like so. No, no good. 1.2. 0.9. Point four, one point two, one point eight. You know what? I think we're maybe going to take that and run with it. So that would be an increase. Of four point eight percent. Yes, I want to proceed. Now the car is supposed to only have four hundred and ninety-eight horsepower at forty three hundred RPM and six hundred and ninety-one pound feet of torque at twenty eight hundred RPM. Let's just see how much we've actually increased that. You all ready? Here we go. Run run my pretty run run. Dang, that torque curve went up fast. Off the charts a little bit. Alrighty, our new numbers are 973 horsepower at 4300 RPM. That's an increase of 476 horsepower, or 96%. And our torque numbers are 1334 at 2800 RPM for an increase of 644 pound-feet of torque. Or 94%. Our drag rating is A at a 701, which is going to give us a little bit of hassle, but it is what it is, man. Luckily, thankfully, this car is actually fairly light for here. Uh, it is only 3,300 pounds, so that's not too bad. So we're going to hop in it. Fire the old. Hey, look at that! Steering wheel matches the box or the interior, and she's a stick car, man. All right, let's go do a round at the dragster. Now we should have more normal cars than like supercars because we're not 800 or higher. 
I found that if you're eight between 800 and 900, you start getting supercars. When you're 900 and above, you get only supercars. So, all right. No, 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 no. Trying to hustle me there. We're going to go eighth mile because that's all we're set up for right now. Class A. Yeah, we'll spend a thousand bucks. Ooh, look at that. Muscle car, muscle car. Although well, that's not really a muscle car, to be honest. It was more built to as a cruiser and to compete with the Mustang. But the vet was built before the Mustang. The Mustang was designed to compete with the vet, and then the Camaro came along to crush the Mustang, which didn't really work in their favor. They both became very, very sought after cars. So I guess one one fed the hand to the other one. It's all good. All right, let's get this show this pony show on the road shall we round one fight ooh that's good first round alright he crushed us off the line that's why if you looked over on the right hand side of the screen you actually saw his front end uh, he was ahead of us at the 60 foot. Uh, we pulled away on him for the 330 and the 8th mile. We are at 66. He's only 70. Oh. We are at 121 mile an hour. He's only at 107. That's good news. Good news. Hi. All right. As long as I don't lose, we should be probably racing the Edgewood Hellcat and be our blaze down there at the bottom. Right now we're racing the Pagani Tempesta. Yeller one. Dang, he got that thing tuned. Oh well. That's where the Faster off the line, but slower down everything else. But everything else is the same, but he just pulled on us and... Alright, well. Now let's see. Would it be the Edgewood Hellcat? Yep. Hellcat's probably going to win it. No. I don't feel so bad now, because the guy that beat us is the one that won it, so... We got beat by the winner, so I don't, I don't feel so bad. But, yeah. So, back to here we go. Alright, we are back. Let's put this back over at car lift B for a minute. Alright. This is our newest acquisition newest build I mean don't get me wrong it's a nice car and all but I already have them I don't need another one so we're actually going to put this one up for sale uh, like I said we're into it for about thirty five to forty thousand dollars wait hold up hold up hate when this happens gotta wash it gotta wash it as you all saw, it was $96,000 instead of the ninety-seven. So we're going to increase the value of it back up again. Come on. There we go. 97206 So like I said, we're roughly about uh, a fifty dollars to $60,000 profit on it. So say sayonara, car. All right. And then on to the next one, which won't be in this episode. This episode's basically done now. But uh, it's probably going to be either this one, or if I could find the one for that I'm trying to do as a comparison with this one, I will end up will end up doing this one and the other one next episode. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we shall catch you all in the next one. Bye everyone.